You got to um, you got to establish some common interests with your co-workers. I know sometimes in the office it seems fake, it seems forced, it seems uh, disingenuous and authentic, but you do want to try to at least establish some common interests with some of your co-workers because that could pay off for you at different uh, times in your in your career or different times at that particular job. Uh, and the mo two most common things that you could establish are sports and TV shows. It's not very heavy. It's not um, something that you're probably going to get into a heated argument about. Uh, and, uh, most people do enjoy those activities. Uh, most people like to talk about those activities. So uh, sports and TV shows, if you hear somebody talking about a TV show that you like, or that you wanted to start watching, you can go say, hey, what do you think about it? Uh, I was going to start watching it next week. I think it's a good show. What do you like about it? Things like that. Uh, sports, obviously, you know, uh, people watch sports. People root for the home team. So you can always talk about the game last night, the game coming up, a playoff series, what have you. And, you know, if you talk about sports, don't don't be one of those guys that's trying to get into a debate and shit all the time. You know what I mean? You know, one of your coworkers will ask you, oh, who's the GOAT, LeBron or Michael? Just, you know, who gives a fuck? They played in different eras. They played at different amounts of time in the league. You know, LeBron is the best of his era. Jordan's the best of his era. Conversation over. You know what I'm saying? Don't get into debates about shit like that. Just talk about the game. Talk about how the team's doing, shit like that. And these establishing these connections can help you because if this person gets promoted, they'll remember that. They'll remember that they have a familiarity with you and they might give you favorable favorable assignments. They might uh, promote you in different ways and different levels. Um, or they might just look out for you in certain instances if you make a mistake or something like that. So um, it's not just to try to curry favor with your coworkers and try to make them like you. It is to, it's a strategic move to ensure that you have some job security and to ensure that they may look out for you in certain instances. Now, they may not do that, but at least you can make an effort to try to find those common grounds. And if you decide to leave your current company, they may provide a favorable reference. They might write a letter of recommendation in the future. So even though if it might not pay off at this particular company, it can pay off in a future job opportunity elsewhere. So you want to try to do that because in corporate, as most of us know, it's really not about how well you do your job. It's about how well you're liked and how, how familiar people are with you. And so those are two things that you can do that are not too personal, that you can connect with your coworkers on, and it might pay off in the future.